unloading kiln number eight. Woo! What's up guys, I'm John the Potter, and on this channel, we explore what is possible with clay. Welcome to another pottery video. This video, we are going to be unloading this kiln. We are filling this thing up right now with a bunch of glazeware. We'll be back in two days to unload her and see what comes out. Let's do it. outside and I want to be outside but I can't I gotta be inside doing pottery so I think I'm gonna set up a wheel outside at my house and start throwing outside there cuz why not right In two days, we're gonna unload this kiln. Let's do it. Woo -hoo. Stuff looks very good so far. I just biked in, so I might be a little bit sweaty. But that's okay. It's 85 degrees outside and beautiful in Minnesota, so I can't complain. Let's do it. First things, we got this beautiful large bowl. That's really cool. That green looks a little different than uh, I normally it would look with this glaze, but still really cool. Perfect drips on the outside. Love it when it drips to the bottom and not off. Great big bowl. Got one of these black coasters that I was just kind of testing that one. Got another pour over. This pour over, oh yeah, see? Well, it'll still work. So when I made those pour overs, this, ha this happened after it dried. So I made like five of them and one of them cracked. And I decided I would just try and fire it anyway. And it'll still work. So I won't sell this because it obviously looks terrible, but I could use it at home. So this will be my new pour over that I use because I don't care, I like cracked stuff. Ooh, just kidding, I just set it down and it totally broke, so that's trash. Ah, uh, here we go, another nice big bowl. That's probably my favorite glaze for bowls. It's just like that combination between the blue to this like reddish, orangish, beigeish color. It's like just awesome. Then we got a set of bowls. This, these green bowls are the same glaze as that big one. They're a real, super nice light green. All these turned out really well. These glazes are all in good form. Sweet! So then this completes the set of six of these bowls, which all turned out really nicely. And then we got some Minnesota mugs. Cause I gotta start making these cause I don't have very many on the shelves right now and I just need lots of them because we sell lots of them. Perfect. Everything is in good shape. Here's a mug that I made that says coffee. That didn't drip. So every time something comes out, you know, I would have thought that this would have like had actual drips coming down, like more of like that but it doesn't, so I know that I can go a little, push a little harder next time I do that. Sweet. So we got more mugs. Ooh, this is a Minnesota. You can just probably barely see that shape of Minnesota. But that Minnesota, I did not put wax resist, so it had, it's covered, which I've sold a few of those. Those are nice looking. Okay, and then the last thing at the bottom of these is these coasters, these glass coasters that we made. So this is actually the second time that these have been fired because I pulled them out and they had little pinholes in them and those completely went away, so that's good. One of them broke over here. So, not sure why that happens, but every once in a while these glass coasters, the rim just kind of breaks off like this. Could be because the well, it doesn't look like the glass is too thick. I don't know, probably just something in the clay. But that'll be garbage. 
overall pretty happy with the kiln that came out. That big bowl looks sweet. These mugs all turned out great. I'm sure that we'll sell these within the month for sure. Uh, then these bowls turned out really well. Another big bowl came out and then these coasters came out. So everything's looking really good. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button for more pottery videos. Hit that like button if you like this. Comment below what your favorite piece was that came out of the kiln today. And we will see you in the next video.